Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and everyone in between to NBA 2K23. And if you want to know why it's 23 and not 24, you have to go back to episode number one. Right at the beginning of that episode, I explain why I'm not going to bother upgrading to 24. But we are currently managing in the My League uh, the St. Louis Arch City Basketball Club expansion team in the Eastern Conference, the Central Division. And last episode, we went up against the other expansion team, who is the uh, San Diego Wave Surf. I'm sorry, San Diego Surf. And we did rather well. We won that game. And the, right now, we are 25 and 33. We are at the All Star break. And. Again, last episode, I, I tried to see who the All-Stars selections were. I didn't, I just kind of skipped over it, but we can see it right here. So we have Team Luca. And am I the only one that dislikes having the teams named after the captain instead of it being East and West? I think it used, it was better the other way around. But Team Luca has Luka Doncic. LeBron James, James Harden, Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid as the starters. And on Team Giannis, you have Giannis Antetokounmpo, Stephen, Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, Jason Tatum, and Bradley Beal as their starting lineup. Uh, my team, of course, our team, St. Louis, did not have anybody on the All-Star team selection. So, that's fine. Let's look at the award races now. See who's in, in the running for most valuable player is Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, James Harden, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, the five there. Luka averaging 41.8 points per game, 13 rebounds and 11 assists. Averaging a triple-double, a 40-point triple-double is probably going to lock it in for you. Jokic averaging a triple-double as well, 30-point triple-double. Very nice. So, Luka right now, about halfway through the season, looking pretty good there. Rookie of the Year, Jabari Smith Jr., Chet Holmgren, Paolo Bancaro, Keegan Murray, and Terrence Christie. So, we'll have to check out the Rockets at some point this year. Check out Jabari Smith Jr. He looks like he's doing really well for himself. Almost a double-double, 22-8 and eight per game. Sixth man of the year, Malcolm Brogdon, Terrence Christie, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Isaiah Jackson, and Miles Bridges in the running there. Defensive player of the year, Giannis, Ben Simmons, Robert Williams, the third, who is slightly injured. Anthony Davis, also slightly injured. Lonzo Ball in there as well. Most improved player, uh, these are all on our expansion teams. As you might imagine, they're getting a lot more minutes than they're used to. So they're gonna, or their stats are going to be inflated compared to what they normally would be. Uh, these guys are all pretty much bench players, and they're starters now. So R.J. Barrett, Jalen Noel from the Surf, Hamadou Diallo on our St. Louis Arch City, Darius Baisley from the Surf, and Jonathan Isaac from Arch City. So we're going to go up against the Chicago Bulls. Let's find them here. There they are. So they have DeMar DeRozan, 89 overall, Zach Levine. So they're in uh, Vucevic. They have 480 overalls, 80 plus. DeRozan is probably going to give us the most trouble as their small forward, Zach Levine, as their shooting guard as well. We need to game plan a little bit, but... You know, honestly, I'm not going to game plan at all. I just rethought what I just said. Because we're not really trying to win a lot of games. But one thing I did want to do um, that I was thinking about the other day, I want, J I want um, Jaden Springer here, who has an A potential, I believe. Yeah, A minus potential to get some playing time. So what I'm going to do is since Flynn is not going to come back with us, even though it, it pains me to do so, I'm going to I'm going to lower him down to just a couple of minutes. 
going to bring Andre Ugadala down as well. And I'm going to give Springer um, some more minutes here. But I'll bring Barton down to six and give Springer ten minutes. That way, he can get some playing time. He can actually start getting his potential going. And... Hmm. Patient is invalid. Maybe we'll get Metu out of here. And we'll do that. There we go. Yeah, we have to have at least one guy apparently not playing at all, which is weird. We've got Charlie Gooden on our draft board. We don't have anybody else for now, but I do want to get some more guys on there. I think we want some centers. Uh, Wesley Hood, overall B-. minus. Let's look at because I think we're going to have a pretty good time here. Let's sort by the 2K rank. So let's put Wade Thompson on there. Let's put Noel Rice on there. We're just basically going to get the best player that we possibly can. What happened to my sort? Huh? Esteban Berea, he's got a one year overseas. Uh, shooting guard would be nice. Point guard would be nicer. Giacomo Esposito. We haven't scouted him very much. Wesley Hood. We'll put him on there. Let's put Darnell Lloyd on there. And I wanted a center. I don't see any centers. Earl Webster. Wow. Let's put him on there. We do need centers going on. We got six guys that we're looking at right now. So right now we're thinking that Charlie Gooden is going to be good, a great scorer, great defender, decent IQ, and we don't know what the potential is. So we'll see how this progresses. And we will get into the game here against the Chicago Bulls. It's an interconference matchup here. We're going to start off from St. Louis in our away debut here on the channel. John Wall, Jordan Clarkson, Hamadou Diallo, Jonathan Isaac, Clint Capella, and for Chicago, Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Patrick Williams, and Nikola Vucevic. By far their best player is Zach Levine, at shooting guard. We're going to have a hard time locking these their backcourt down. And DeMar DeRozan is one of those all-around players who's going to give us trouble as well. Let's get into it. All right, from Chicago, the Arch City Basketball Club versus the Chicago Bulls. St. Louis coming to Chicago. There's Zach Levine, looks like. They have an A home court advantage, and here is the tip-off. Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway, and St. Louis gets the tip-off. Hang on one second. All right, I changed the camera slightly. We did a little bit of a zoom on the broadcast camera, and we raised the height up from 1 to 5, and we'll see if that gives us a little bit better angle here. And we get the first points of the game from Jordan Clarkson. On the layup, Zach Levine bringing the ball up for Chicago, looking to answer. DeRozan looking to feed the post. We got a cut coming outside for Lonzo Ball. He launches a wide open three and misses. Isaac gets the rebound. And Wall will bring it up from the backcourt. Wall getting the screen on the left side, driving, stopping, getting stripped by Zach Levine. Levine pushing on the right baseline, going up for the layup, and he will not get the finish. Isaac brings the ball down, brings it up the court. Pass to Diallo from the quarter, and that is good. It's five to nothing. St. Louis, I don't expect that to hold up here. We are outclassed skill-wise in this matchup. So I think uh, Chicago is just having a bit of a slow start here. 
Lonzo Ball driving left, got the screen, throws it inside to Vucevic, and he has the easy two to put Chicago on the board. Can Arch City answer back and keep this offense flowing? I don't expect them to, but we will see. Wall is wide open at the top of the key. Bricks the three, but the putback by Flint. Well, Clint Capella is good. Seven to two, St. Louis. Lonzo on the right side. Looking inside, perhaps, to Vucevic. No, he swings it to Zach Levine for a long deuce, and he gets it to rip the cord. Diallo, right side, has a man posting up, not willing to give it to him. Swings it to Clarkson for three, and he rips the nylon. For three. 10 to 4, St. Louis, their offense is clicking right now early in the first quarter. 9.20 left to go. Ball gets the backdoor cut. He is fouled, but can't get the ball to drop on the easy layup. He's going to go to the line for two. Not much of a foul. Must have just grabbed his, his jersey and pulled him back. Lonzo Ball. Taking two shots. And the first is good. Four ball. Can he get two in a row to bring him within four? He can. I like our away jerseys a lot better than our home jerseys, to be honest with you. I think we need to make a change there if I can figure that out. Clarkson at the top throws it to Diallo. Looking for cutters. Gets his screen on the right side and is stripped by Williams. Clean take right out of his hands. Gets it to DeRozan. Back to Ball. Ball immediately launches a three. Can't get it to drop. Jordan Clarkson throws the outlet to Diallo. Diallo putting the moves on. Driving in the paint. Throws it inside to Wall. Wall not looking like he wants that type of shot opportunity was covered well. Clarkson bodied on the outside. Gets a screen. Drives. Pops a three. Can't get it to fall, but Diallo chases down the rebound. St. Louis gets another opportunity here. Wall driving in the paint. And it's a reaching foul for Williams. First personal foul. First team foul. I cannot believe that the St. Louis Arch City Ball club is doing this well against Chicago early on in the in the matchup. Clarkson outside to Diallo. Looking for a screen on the left side. Gets it. Launches a triple. Can't get it to go, but Capella is there again. Cannot get the put back. Ball with Diallo to DeRozan. DeRozan inside. Going up. And he can't get the score. Gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Chicago's within two. This is what I expected. Isaac. That's not his shot. Diallo. Looking to drive. Little spin. Inside of the paint. He goes up. He is fouled. Can't get the shot to drop. He'll go to the line for two. That was on DeRozan. Hopefully we can get him into some foul trouble down low. That would be very beneficial for St. Louis. Get one of their star players off the court early on. Zach Levine guarded at the top of the key. Throws it to Lonzo Ball. Over to Levine again on the right side. Drives. Rejected. But the foul by Clarkson. Great defensive rejection, but botched with the reach-in foul. Yeah, the push in the back negates the rejection and the good defensive stop.
Levine, get on the first. Looking to bring him back within two, and he does. St. Louis needs to keep the pressure on. A double team at the top of the key. Alonzo Ball strips and gets a free run to the basket. The throwdown to tie the game up. Alonzo Ball versus St. Louis this season. Eight points a game. Three, almost four steals a game. So, very good on the defense. Looks like we have a timeout situation. There are children on the court. Please help us all. Ball coming out for the inbound pass. St. Louis with 13 on the shot clock. Looking for cutters. Gets a screen on the right side. Clarkson goes up with the layup. Cannot get it to fall. Williams with the rebound. He's pushing the, the, the ball up. I think that was Lonzo Ball. The three in the corner for Chicago gets them the lead for the first time this match. Yellow driving, double team splits the defenders, gets the layup anyway. What a maneuver from Hamidou Diallo. On that list of most improved player, of course, Anyone would like, like we said earlier, anyone would be. They're, they're getting starters minutes now, and they were bench players before. So, the big drive and the big finish by DeMar DeRozan. He's averaging 30 points a game at home this season, 55% free uh, field goal shooting. Very nice. Wall is just going to launch a triple, cannot even get it to drop. That's a brick. DeRozan brings it up, throws it over to Alonzo Ball in the corner. Back to DeRozan. Looking to put some moves on. Feeds Vucevic inside with the mismatch and the smaller man. He's got to go up. He's going to get a three-second violation. And he does. That was about five seconds, ref. Learn how to count. Send the referee back to primary school this instant. Vucevic is going to come out, and he's going to be replaced by Andre Drummond for Chicago. No subs so far for St. Louis. Westbrook, oh, my bad. Westbrook is in. He launches a three immediately and bricks it off the side. I guess I missed the substitution for Russ. Seventeen to fourteen in favor of Chicago. Lonzo Ball wide open in the corner, can't get it to fall. It rattles back out. Westbrook brings the ball up off the rebound, gets a screen on the right side, trying to put the moves on, pulls up ten footer, can't get it to drop. And Chicago pushes back the other way. They slow things down, reset up their offense. DeRozan with a spin, with a pull up, nine footer goes in, and Kevin Love is in as well. Looks like. Russ and Love time out, time out. seem to come in around the same time in the first quarter. At the five minute mark. Get a timeout for St. Louis. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Russell getting it over to Richardson. Had a few more substitutions. Westbrook inside on the post. Brings it to the free throw line. Launches and breaks it off the back iron. The Rosen gets the board. Caruso with the ball. He's in here now for Chicago. Outside for Caruso. His first shot of the night is a brick. Westbrook, one-on-one, -on -one going in for the finish. He gets the shot to drop. It's a three-point ball game in favor of Chicago at the moment. 19-16. to St. Louis and Chicago both getting their reserves into the game. DeRozan, a long deuce, bricks it off the back iron. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. He pushes the tempo forward. Caruso trying to stop him on the defensive end. 
Wes spinning, shooting, gets the nice banker off the glass to go. It's a one-point ball game now. We have not seen a really great game from Russell Westbrook so far on our team. Need to see him step it up. He's a superstar name. Oh my God, Andre Drummond shoves Love out of the way and has the Tomahawk put back jam off the rebound. Williams trying to post up. Does a little fade away. Who told this man he was Michael Jordan? Green trying to get some moves going. Caruso over to DeRozan. Lonzo Ball, top of the key, guarded closely, got the screen on the left side. Love picks him up on the switch, goes inside, cannot get the ball to drop, but Drummond's there again for the putback, and one. Going to the line to try for the three-point opportunity. And Drummond breaks the free throw. Barely got that one up there. Across court to Westbrook. He's wide open with a Tomahawk jam. Just burned Drogic alive on that maneuver there. As soon as he touched the ball, he was gone. I don't know if that's pronounced Drogic or Drogic. But either way, he got toasted. Caruso with the backdoor cut inside, reverse layup goes in. 25 to 20 in favor of Chicago now. We need Westbrook to get confident out there. Springer with the ball over to Richardson. Westbrook on the cut inside, did not get the ball. Gets an outside cut. Turns down the three point look. Trying to put the moves on. Does so, gets around two defenders. The little baby hook goes in for Russell Westbrook. What an offensive maneuver he put on there. Nice show for the Chicago crowd. Caruso over to Drummond, top of the key to DeRozan. DeRozan now pulling up. 11 footer is off. Kevin Love gets the board. Springer gets the outlet. The little spinning floater goes in. St. Louis is within one. DeRozan going in. Dragic back to him. Caruso's wide open at the top of the key. Russ gets a hand up. It's a brick. But Green comes down somehow with the loose ball. Drummond with the screen. Dragic, time running out. One second left. He throws it in. That's a shot clock violation. And we're going to send forward into the second quarter, folks. We only seem to come back out of the simcasts into free throws. But that's fine. Kevin loves the line for looks like two. 47 to 44. He can bring it to with to a two-point ball game. Can you believe St. Louis is putting up this much of a fight in Chicago tonight? Because I cannot. Russo's still in there. Russell's still in there. The switch. The good defensive stop there. Green with the ball now. At the block, almost gets it stripped from behind. Five seconds on the clock, they gotta do something quick. Caruso driving right, running out of time, has to throw the floater and he hits the shot. Caruso bails him out. Nothing was happening for Chicago on that position. Russell trying to get the moves going on here. Richardson. Back to Russ at the top of the key. At the ear of the bull, you might say. Trying to get the screen on the left side. Caruso goes underneath. Russ never passed the ball once that whole possession and breaks the shot from the uh, free throw line. And now DeRozan gets free. 
and he is found on the pass for the jam. Springer trying to get inside from about eight feet. He breaks the shot. Andre Drummond with the outlet to Levine. Levine doesn't have the numbers, but he's putting the moves on. The crowd getting into this one. Four minutes left to go. And Levine with the backdoor cut over Westbrook. Gets the easy reverse layup to drop. 53 to 45. The lead has skyrocketed all of a sudden. Just like that. It's an eight-point game. Love back out to Williams. To Richardson. Over to Russell Westbrook. Russell's not a bad defender. Williams inside. Over two defenders. Can't get it to go. Drummond comes down with the board. Outlets to Green. Green slows it down for Chicago. DeRozan trying to drive. Puts the brakes on. Pulls up. And hits the shot from about 12 feet. Timeout, timeout. Timeout, St. Louis. It's a 10-point ball game. This is kind of what I was expecting to happen. Chicago just gets out there and starts dominating. This team that is quite considerably outmatched, especially on the bench. I mean, that honestly, there's no real huge difference between the starters and the bench for St. Louis. They're all about the same rating. Richardson gets free on the baseline screen. A foul on Isaac on the inside, but the basket will count. So they no longer wave off the basket if there's a foul off the ball. If the shot's up... Drummond gets the ball back to DeRozan and the alley up to Drummond. He just runs right past Kevin Love. Love fell asleep on the play. And that's the result. The alley oop jam for Drummond. Russ trying to get in there, get in, gets inside. This is his game. Over three defenders, pump fakes, but has to kick it back outside. Four seconds on the clock. Springer's got to get something going here. Jumps to try to do a layup and gets hacked by Green, it looks like. Springer's first shot is up and good. Can he bring St. Louis to within seven points? He can. I think DeMar DeRozan's played every single minute of this game for Chicago. That's what it looks like anyway. From what we've seen, he has not come out. Like, he could have got a short rest. He could have got a short rest while we were sim casting. Drummond comes down with the tipped rebound. Back out. Recess the offense. Nine on the shot clock. And a three-second violation. St. Louis gets the ball back on a turnover. Kevin Love on the on the post tries to do a drop step, can't get past Drummond. Out to Russell for three. It is no good. Drummond with the board. Levine bringing the ball up. Wants to push it to Green. Green inside, blocked, but a foul on Isaac. That's his second. Second personal foul. Javante Green going in hard and gets fouled hard on the layup. Javante Green at the line for two. Looks like Walls coming in. And Westbrook goes to the shooting guard position for St. Louis. Green bricks the second, so it's an eight-point ball game. Isaac bringing the ball up. Gets it back to Wall, who just checked in. Russ is on a long roundabout way. 
around the basket. Goes inside among the trees, and he is blocked but a foul on Andre Drummond, his first, the eighth team foul in Chicago this quarter. Just came down right over the top of his forearms. That'll be a foul every day of the week. Two shots. Russ does get the shot to fall. This would bring him to within six. And it, he does not get the second. So it's a seven point ball game. Levine with the ball. Try to put the moves on. Does so. Oh my God. What was that? That was a Euro step. Little flippity flu. kind of a layup it was insane I don't even know what a flippity flu is but that's what I that's, that's the words that came to my brain when I saw that flippity flu Isaac with the fadeaway he actually gets that to fall ladies and gentlemen Isaac getting the job done and Caruso gets hacked second personal on wall seventh on the team Everybody's in the bonus at this point. We've only got about a minute left to go before halftime. Russo bricks the first free throw attempt. Need to see a lot of that. Looks like Clarkson's going to come back in for the last minute of this first half for St. Louis. There is right there, number double zero, I believe. That is Clarkson. We got number zero, Russell Westbrook. Double zero, Jordan Clarkson. And number one, Isaac. A lot of low numbers there. Clarkson driving, shooting, long deuce and gets it to drop. 61 to 55. Chicago can get a two for one here if they go quick. Zach Levine. Looks like they're not going to go for it here. They still can, though. DeRozan gets the fadeaway to go. They, they can get the two for one here. They will have a few seconds left after this possession if they get a rebound off a miss or a make. Clarkson with the ball left side. Trying to put the moves on. Can't get around his man. Love setting the screen on the right side. Clarkson launches a long two again. Same spot. Can't hit it this time. Levine gets it up to Green. Green to DeRozan. DeRozan burns. Burns Love alive. Isaac actually gets a shot off before halftime, but it bricks off the rim. 65 to 55 is your score going into the half in favor of Chicago. Russell Westbrook sticking his fingers inside his skull. Lovely. Coming back in for the start of the third quarter. It's a 10-point ball game in favor of Chicago. Russell Westbrook is the leading scorer for St. Louis going into halftime with 13. DeMar DeRozan with 16 for Chicago. Both of them having a great day, but Russ coming off the bench to put in that performance is quite frankly shocking. Our starters need to pick things up. But again, like I said, the ratings for the players are about the same, starters and bench. St. Louis comes up with a steal on the first possession over to Clarkson. Driving, going inside, getting hacked by Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic destroying Clarkson on that, on that drive. He'll go to the line for two. Jordan Clarkson. 
taking two shots. And the first drops for Jordan. And his second bricks off. DeRozan gets the board, brings the ball up himself. Throws it to Levine at the corner. And the three is good. It's an 11-point ball game. Diallo over to Clarkson, top of the key. Jordan Clarkson looking for an opportunity here. Diallo gets the ball, had a, had a second to shoot it. Gave up on it, almost lost the handle. Wall with one second gets stripped by Andre Drummond of all people. Wow, the double spin into the left-handed layup for Lonzo Ball. Puts Wall in the spin and puts himself in the spin cycle and puts Wall to sleep on that play. Very well done. Wall in the past has been one of our leading scorers. He needs to step it up here tonight. If they have want to have any opportunity. Lonzo gets a steal, just picks his pocket clean. Nobody saw a thing. Levine going inside, gets hacked by Isaac, his third. We'll watch the hack apparently again one more time. It's very important. Levine gets the first. And all of a sudden, it's a 14-point ball game. Chicago starting to pull away here at the beginning of the second half. Levine can't get the second to drop, however. But has St. Louis run out of gas already in the third quarter? About 10-15 to go in the third. Diallo driving left. Pump fakes. Can't get his man in the air. He's got to put up a shot. He gets rejected. And Levine comes down with the ball. Drives on Clarkson. Stops on a dime. Shoots it about five feet away and drills the jumper. Timeout, timeout. Timeout for St. Louis. A lot of fans in the Chicago United Center wearing pink. I thought red was their color. All right, St. Louis trying to get something going on offense this time. Five seconds to go. Capella at the top of the key. Clarkson now. I'm just going to have to chuck this one up from three. Can't get it to drop. And Williams for Chicago brings the ball in. Levine wide open. He's cherry picking, but he gets the shot in the corner three to drop. He, re he must have released as soon as that ball left the fingertips for the brick. Isaac going in hard. And Nikola Vucevic with his third foul. Actually, that was Clint Capella, my fault. 9.8 points per game, 65% field goal percentage. Very nice, efficient score. Bricks the first free throw, however. No substitutions coming. And he breaks the second. My goodness. The ball is just wide open on the cut. In transition, the defense just broke down completely for St. Louis Arch City. They need to answer here and answer quickly. It's been a while since they had a bucket. Diallo trying to get inside, does so, gets the little finger roll to drop, and they end the drought. Over to DeRozan, top of the key, gets it to Williams, trying to drive left, can't get his man to move. Eight on the clock, back up to DeRozan, he gets a screen on the right side, he's driving, he's passing out to Vucevic at the top for three, he gets it to drop. 
And now it is, well, it's a 22-point ball game, folks. It's not looking good for St. Louis at this point. They, they kept it close in the first half. And in the third quarter, Chicago has just turned on the Jets. Diallo at the, at the free throw line. Capella gets the board, puts it up and in on the return attempt. But the Bulls have had enough. They want to close this game out and destroy whatever hope that St. Louis thought they had. Lonzo Ball putting the moves on John Wall. Getting the buck of the drop. St. Louis looks stagnant offensively. I think they're... Clarkson going up over two men. Can't get it to drop. Two defenders stopping him there. Two taller defenders, even. But yeah, St. Louis's offense is looking stagnant at this point. Their morale has been stripped. I haven't seen our our third string shooting guard in there. Maybe we will in the fourth quarter. Let's go ahead and skip ahead here. As Clarkson has 10 points, he got the ball to drop. It is 135 to 96 at this point. Chicago is blowing St. Louis out. St. Louis with the ball. Starters are still in, looks like. For both teams, I think 340 to go in the fourth and what is this? A what a, a, a 39 point lead? Something like that. I think it's time to bring in your uh, your backups. Vucevic is fouled out at the three minute 24 second. He had 26 points. A decent day all around for him. And it looks like it's wholesale substitution time. For Chicago, as they should. I think they, the Diallo's there for two shots. I think they, St. Louis should wholesale substitution as well. Here we go. They are. See who comes in here. Barton, he's the one I'm looking for. And Malachi Flynn in at point guard. I get distracted by Malachi. I didn't see who came in at power forward. But Barton is the guy that I was wanting to see here. He's our A minus potential young man. Dragic with the ball. Terry on the right side. Back to Jones Jr. at the top of the key. Guarded closely. Dragic. Launches a three, bricks it, but Bradley is there to pull down the board and get the two points for Chicago. Let's see what garbage time brings us. 2.53 to go. Diallo, tired. He should be out of here, but he was the one shooting free throws. He could not substitute out. Wow, who was that? Was that Barton? Our city shot 53% for the field today. Bulls, 67%. So it's basically a numbers game here. Diallo gets the strip. Pushing the ball. Gets it up to Malachi Flynn, who is hacked by Dragic. His second personal. Malachi going to the line for two. Looks very determined to make these free throws. He hits the first. Two shots. Diallo and Love come out, looks like. Richardson and Williams are going to come in for St. Louis. Malachi gets good on both. The crowd is dead silent here. They know the game is over. It's a 36-point lead. This, as expected, was really not a contest in the end. They, they kept it close. Richardson picks the pocket clean.
trying to get inside there. Throws the inbound to Iguodala. Barton gets inside, gets hacked. He has an opportunity to get on the scoring board here. Get on the stat sheet. Will Barton, he has eight points tonight. He's three of three for field goals. A very efficient night. I, I did not realize he had been in already. Very good. Will Barton for his second shot. Up and good. Nice. Nice free throws. Tickled the twine on both of them. But it's still a 30-point game, and nothing really matters at this point for St. Louis. They just have to wait for time to tick down, and they can go recover from this absolute beatdown. But I am excited to give Barton some more minutes. Iguodala gets in there for the rebound. Gets it to Malachi Flynn over to Richardson. To Malachi for three. He can't get it to drop this time. Chicago with the ball. A minute 23 to go. In regulation. There's no chance of overtime here today. The Euro step and the foul for Malachi Flynn. Hack the man. Dragic. 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 Headed to the line for two. Whatever the hell his name is, it really doesn't matter. He hits the first shot. Oh, he said he just said it. Dragic. There you go. Now we all know. But is the is the United Center re arena announcer correct? Or is he mispronouncing it? Who knows? Will Barton with the ball. Left side. Richardson driving. Pulling up from about eight. Bricking it off the back iron. Bradley pulls the rebound down. Dragic. Over to Terry on the left side. Back to him at the top of the key. Now to Green. Guarded by Ugadala. Over to Terry. Time's bound to five seconds on the clock. Green spinning. Trying to get a shot up. Does so, but bricks it. Barton comes down with the board. Over to Malachi Flynn. Has one man with him on the break. He gets it inside to Richardson for that jam. Nice fast break play for the young fella. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your freaking hands. What in the world is happening here in Chicago? We heard that chant in St. Louis as well. Everybody is clapping like crazy, but I hear no applause. This is insane. And they're laughing. They're laughing at our team. Time runs out here in Chicago. 141 to 105 is your final score. Barton got some points on the board. Like to see that. He's getting some experience on the court. But this was a blowout. An absolute domination by Chicago. Though so Chicago defends their home court with great success in the blowout victory of St. Louis. And they're going to be very happy tonight. Zach Levine put up 29 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists on... 10 of 15 shooting, very efficient. Vucevic with 26 and 5, 11 of 13. DeMar DeRozan, 20 points, 10 assists, 8 rebounds, almost a triple-double. Onzo, 19 and 10 assists. So a great all-around performance by the Chicago Bulls. Can't fault them for that. And for St. Louis, Clint Capella, of all people, he's actually our best Overall rated player. Uh, 16 points, 7 rebounds, a block. Diallo puts up 15. Clarkson, 13. Westbrook on 6 for 12, put up 13. He had 13 in the first half. He must have not scored at all in the second. 
And he only had 16 minutes. Wall with 11. He did not perform today. 5 of 11 from the field. 0 for 3 from behind the arc. He had a negative 34 plus minus. Remember his game against the San Diego Surf? He was plus 40 something, I believe. Big difference here today. Going up against people who can actually play defense. And, okay, Barton had 10 points. 11 minutes off the bench. A couple rebounds, an assist, a steal. Three of three from the field. Very nice. So that is going to get us the loss in Chicago by a whole lot. Now, I know we didn't go through all of these box scores. I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, let's just keep it simple the first season. Once we get into maybe having a couple of better players on our team where we can actually make a run for the playoffs, I think we'll pay a little bit more attention to the box scores and see what we're doing here and really getting into game planning and things like that. So the last game of the season is actually up against Cleveland. And I think I definitely want to play that game. So next episode, we're going to be in, I know we'll be at home against the, the Cavaliers and we will see how we do in the last game of the season. Right now we are 29 and 36. We are 15 games back from Philadelphia. We are not headed to the playoffs at this point. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will simulate to Cleveland for the last game of the season. And I expect that'll be our last, that'll be the end of our season for this year. And we'll get into the offseason. We'll check out our scouting prospects, and we will try to figure out who we are going to draft for next year and try to build the team. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to get more content in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.